afternoon, everyone. My name is Andrew. I'm the founder of Great Lakes Honey Beekeeper Association up inside northern Wisconsin. On the 24th of June, I went ahead and did a quick walkway split inside the hive on the far which is the hive on the far left. I'm just going to go ahead and throw a suit on. It's about 80 degrees out, kind of an overcast, hazy kind of sky. I'm wearing my bee suits when I go inside it. Out of that, I don't need it usually when I go around the hives. I'm out here pretty consistently checking on them, checking on things, make sure everything's all good. But I'm gonna try to make this quick as possible. My goal today is to check to make sure that the queen is being produced. I already got the smoker already started up. We go step by step. I have a hive tools in case I need it. Not sure if anyone's familiar with these, but you might be. I'm just using a little smoker plug. It's quick, easy. For what I use, they last just as long as what I need it for. Alright, I'm gonna go over and let's go check it out. So we got hive number two, which is this one here. This one here is from Kelly Bees. This one here is from Barnyard Bees. This is hive one. Then the new split is also off of Barnyard Bees or hive one. So we're gonna go ahead and pull off the tops and check them out real quick. So far this season, I have not been stung yet. I'm hoping to keep it that way. Would be nice, no guarantees. Doing a couple puffs around the area. Let's see if I can't get this positioned a little bit better up on top of here. Alright, maybe I'll be able to. This is a good spot. Alright. Top lid. Alright, let's see if they're starting to produce a queen in this one. Well, we're drawing down the sugar water in this. I'll have to refill that one. Completely emptied out. It's been about, today is the 29th, I believe, of June. So it's been about five days. Usually I swap them every three to four days. Let's see. Yeah, I should be able to see what's going on here. This is my first time I've ever done a split. So we'll see how well it worked. So as you can see, I have regular empty frames. I have some fishing line in here for them to secure the comb once they start producing comb. But I only have two of these on each side. I got two empties on this side, two on this side. The center of them, center six, actually have the actual foundation on them. And I actually pulled out a couple from the barnyard B or hive one. All right, so this one here, they're working on the foundation. I'm just trying to get it drawn out. Busy little bees, man, they're working hard. Fantastic bees. 
I am looking for is a sign of a queen cell being built. I do not know nothing on this one yet. Sorry, girls. I'm gonna do that. Alright, so I got some brood here. Ooh, it looks like a queen cell on the very bottom. Bottom right hand corner, I believe. Looks like uncapped. Hope I'm getting that on film. Can't really tell. Oh, right down here. So we got an uncapped queen cell drop down here. So that is awesome. They're producing one on this one. That's good. That's on one side. Let's check out the other side. Larvae's on here. Capped. Stores. We have both worker bees and some drones up inside here. Okay, and this one. This is going to be stores, look like. So far, I've only seen the one queen cell, maybe two on that one if they're drawing out two of them right there, but. One guarantee that they're making. These are going to be stores and brood that will still be hatching out. Alright, this is going to be stores. No queen cell on that side. This one looks like gonna be. Oh, this one's all been. This was brewed on this side, and that's all been drawn out and cleaned out. So this is gonna be ready to go ahead and be reused once they get the queen. And this one they're still working on. Looks like they're getting ready to start working on it. And these two I'm not going to pull out. These are just empty frames, just like this one here. There's nothing on them yet. So it gives them plenty of room for expansion. And for not having a queen, these guys are pretty, pretty gentle right now. They're not really aggressive or anything. They're not showing any type of aggression or anything. They're not all heated up. Let's see, I believe that queen cell was on this one. I want to pull it out. I want to see if there's one queen cell or if they're making two. Yeah, they've got the one queen cell on there. Another uh, question is, is there anything in it? Ooh, and there is a larvae in it. Good, good. That is a plus. Bees are so interesting to me. So I'm just going to push these right back over. Then we can go ahead and shut this one up again. Put the last frame in. Alright, I'm going to put the inner top board in for the feed board. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video real quick so I can go fill this jar up with some more sugar syrup for them. All right, here you go girls. Yeah, they're watching right before the sugar syrup come back on. I'm not gonna go through hive one. I went through that 
five days ago. They were good. They don't have an inner feeder inside there. I pulled that out. They now have a Hunter Super on it. Uh, the same type of frames that I have inside this one that just have the fishing line on it. I'm waiting for them to start drawing comb down on those. They still had two frames inside there that had the actual foundation on it that they're still working on drawing out. And that hive's been just really super lately and doing good. So I'm not going to bother them today. I'm going to bother them in a couple of days. Take a quick peek inside, say how we can see how everything's going. I do have a queen excluder on there. I am debating on taking that off because I've noticed that they're not really going up that much inside it to start working on the top. But like I said, I'm going to give them a little bit to see if they're trying to draw with the rest of the foundation frames on the bottom before I do so. I also have the top vent open, or the top entrance open on the super, but I noticed none of them are going through it yet. So they're all going down through the bottom entrance. However, I am going to take a quick peek into hive number two from Telebees and check with them because I do have an inner feeder in there for sugar syrup. And I want to see how they're doing and if they need a refill. So I'm going to swap this around. I can get this on my stand. Anyone who does YouTube videos knows how difficult it is with one hand, especially when you're working on a bunch of bees. So give them a couple of squirts. Take off the top. So hive number one and hive number two, I have the screen top zone. I don't, I have to build another one for the third hive. Notice it kind of helps keep the ants out of there a little bit. Set this back down for a second. Well, this is a lot of moisture up in here. I had a little bit of pollen up in here for pollen substitute. These guys have not touched this pollen substitute I picked up from Man Lake at all. So, I'm just going to chuck it let the wild animals have it. And I'm also realizing now that I need to add some more vents into this top board here and throw some screen on the inside. Hopefully that will help it a little bit more for ventilating it. They are completely out of sugar water. I'm going to go get this refilled. I'll be right back. As you can see, completely emptied. All right, so I went ahead and got that refilled. I'm going to do a quick peek in here, though, I believe. Yes. Do a quick peek. So again, this is going to be hive number two from Kelly Bees. We haven't had any issue with these guys out, also. Just in case anyone's wondering. What I mean by issues is any type of stinging, aggression, them being irritable. They've been really good. All right. So on this one, we have, uh, let's see. All right, so we have this one that's not drawn out. This one is just the regular. Yeah, this is just a frame with just the string going across. They haven't drawn no comb on it yet. Everything else here is all fully packed out. Uh, this one here is also to have the string on it. This one has the foundation. Uh, they're working on this one and they're working on this one. On this, on the left hand side of it at least. The right hand side, they haven't worked on that one. Looks like there's only two bees over there. 
see if I can pull them out and look. The reason these frames are in here is because I actually pulled out two of the frames with foundation from this one on both ends. And that's just the way I could add those into the hive number three to give those guys a little bit more space in there to start drawing out more in there. All right. Yeah, see this side, they're not on yet but they are working on this side. Let's see, let me set this right here for just a second. This side they're working on, they're about halfway on it, drawn out. But every other frame leg on the other side is fully packed. My little chipmunk buddy. Yeah. Hey buddy. Come over and say hi again. I don't know what it is. All the critters come over and say hi when I'm out here. So I've got the bees. i got the hummingbirds. i got chipmunks. Okay, so I'm not going to go through the rest because there's really no reason to. I already know they're doing good. We'll go through these guys here in about another three, four days. I just checked on these guys four to five days ago when I grabbed a couple frames out and the queen was doing fantastic. I don't want to bother them too much. I'm just going to let them keep continuing doing their thing. Bugs. Not only that, but it's, like I said, 80 degrees out, and I am sweating like a banshee out here. Especially with this bee jacket on. Put the sugar syrup back on. It's a hot one. Weather wise, not hive wise. I have ratchet strapped in all three hives because we get some pretty nasty weather up here. Just like some other people do all over. That's just a little rain guard. This can come back to me. All right. So this week, I'm going to be pulling this board off. I'm going to be adding two more holes on this side and two more on the other side and putting a screen across to add more ventilation on this hive and this hive. And then I have to build one more of these to put on hive number three along with a top cover screen. Uh, and then probably later on this week, I might be taking off the queen excluder down here to see if that will help produce the bees coming upward more from the bottom. Because as I said, they like using the bottom more than anything else. I had two gallon feeders out here with sugar syrup in it. I reduced it down to one yesterday. Now we have the wildflowers blooming out and we also have a ton of clover blooming today. So that will be, once that is empty I should say, I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Uh, they shouldn't need it no more. There's plenty of options for them out here right now. 
plenty of pollen. They're bringing it in like crazy. I do have a pollen substitute feeder located right over here. It's about halfway gone, but they haven't been using it lately. Uh, like I said, you know, if the bees need it, they'll use it. But we have so many flowers around here blooming out. There's a little creek right over here. It's hard to see on here. So they have fresh water coming through. I do have a sugar syrup feeder hanging up there with another bee feeder on it. And this piece here was only like 25 cents on eBay. And the reason I put it up on top of here, I wanted to see if the bees would use it. I've seen a couple use it, but I've seen the hummingbirds using it more than anything. So it keeps the hummingbirds up high instead of keeping them down by the bees. I haven't seen them mess with the bees or anything, and the bees haven't messed with the hummingbirds, so. Now that's been all pretty good so far this season. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and take off the bee jacket. It is hot up here. I've also heard rumors about people saying different colors attract the bees and different ones don't. I wear dark colors, I wear light colors, and I haven't seen any difference in them. They just don't care, it seems like. Well, at least mine don't. I don't know how yours react. And I haven't really had a big ant problem either. Uh, I do see more ants coming down towards the feeder over there but they have not been really going by the hives. I see a couple of red ants once in a while, but they're not going into the hive, which is a good thing. I haven't seen any varro mites. I haven't seen any wax moths. So, so far, so good this season. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the video at this. I'm gonna go ahead and make another one here, probably in another four days here. I'll have to go ahead and check the feeders inside again. And at that time, I'll go ahead and check hive one, hive two, and do a complete check, and we'll get everything on video as much as we can. So until next time, have a good weekend, have a good holiday, and I'll talk to y'all later.